Pleasure to meet you. I'm such a huge fan. Oh my gosh, what's your name? Calvin, Calvin, that's my name. Calvin, nice yes. to meet you. Pleasure to meet oh, you thank too. you for being a fan. Oh my gosh, I love that. Thank that you. So you have thank such you. great style. Thank you so much. Wow. So much. Would you like to come talk to me? Would love to. I would be honored. Would come on to. in. Watch awesome. your head. All right, yeah. Welcome to my van, thank Calvin. You. Thank How you are you? Me. I'm great, I'm great. I just I want to say I'm such a huge fan of your work and I've been following you pretty much since Tango and Cash. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tango and Cash, that movie did it for me. Okay. And then I watched another movie called Brain Smasher with oh my God. About, about the White Lotus. <laughs> yes. And I, I tried to go around and I actually did research on White Lotuses because I'm such a huge fan of that film. Okay. One martial artist in that film is in another film called Big Trouble in Little China. Okay. And he was the villain in that film. Okay. And I saw you in it and after yeah. I already saw you in Tango and Cash, I right. was... I was sold. Wow. So I've been a fan of you for that long. That's, that's really that's way back. Sweet. VHS. You might be the original fan. The VHS the VHS fan. era. That that's a that's that's a solid fan. Thank well, you. Thank, thank you. you. That's so nice. Awesome. It's sometimes I just think age is so weird. <laughs> like you never like know. you know, there's the the good news of that you're still around and you're still yes. thriving and yes. surviving. And yes. then the other thing is that you just reflect on these this this person that like I don't even know who that person you was never, you who never was know. in you know that move like tw I was twenty something years old isn't that crazy wow that's, that's so a, crazy wow that's that's super interesting yeah that's super interesting wow I was I was born in eighty five okay so I'm I'm an eighties baby oh but my God. I grew up on VHSs and watching your films wow and you because of you every woman that I date oh, I date brunettes oh God because of you. <laughs> So you are responsible for okay. all of that. I hope that's going well. Yes, it's going great. It's fantastic. going great. Fantastic. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Yes. Good. Yes, yes, yes. okay, good. So, um, well, that's just all so sweet. Well, what I wanted to share and what I want to talk to you about is, is exactly that. It's relationship advice. Okay. And because um, of me being a young guy and that sort of thing and also trying to find my way with love and understanding people, I just wanted to ask you what would be your pointers as far as um, tips for communication and long-term uh relationship how to maintain that with communication I tend to travel a lot so okay. a lot of my relationships tend to be long distance okay. so I guess my question would be as far as uh, being in a long distance relationship uh, what would be your suggestion about how to maintain that when I think about my friendships okay so that's where I'm gonna have that's to yeah, that's a relationship because that's yeah. gonna be my most long-term relationships I would say that my good friends would say to me that I'm always there for them that they know that they can count on me. Okay. And I feel that way about the friends that have been in my life for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I think you come to earn that label of like being someone that someone can count on yeah. because you do it consistently, because you aren't always able to fix things, you aren't always able to have the answer but you are always able to be there and be loving yes. and to say to someone you're not alone i'm i'm here for you i think i don't know if this is something you have i think men specifically sometimes have this where they feel like if they can't fix it that it's not enough they're not like, adequate. They're not adequate. If okay. they're not fixing the problem, they're not. And sometimes you can't fix the problem. You know, like totally. often problems can't be fixed, and often the person themselves has to do the fixing if there's fixing to even do. Totally. It's not. Totally. So all you can really be there is just as a reflection of like support and love. Yeah. But you can't actually solve anything. I'm a big believer in arriving at a place where we're responsible for our own happiness. Yes, totally. totally I think when you're that. younger, yeah. there's some idea that someone's going to make you happy. Yeah. That someone's, th those those great lines from movies, you complete me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it's romantic as hell, for sure. Totally. Who doesn't want to be, find Fulfilled. the person that completes them? Fulfilled. You know, whatever. Yeah. It's so romantic. But it's not really, I don't think the way it works. I mean, I feel like I've come to arrive at a place where the happier I am capable of being and taking care of myself, the better experience I have with other people. Whether, you know, I'm sleeping with them or they're just my friend, yeah, you know? Exactly. I think encouraging in a relationship a place where 
and a kind of a communication where you you're helping each other figure out what makes you happy like individually and then yes. you come together and get to share all your happiness and exactly. share all these experiences but you're not necessarily mm -hmm. needing the other person to, to, do, that to do that for you. for you your happiness comes from you attaching your happiness to goals and things that you want to accomplish rather than attaching your happiness to people or things huh that's interesting well definitely not I think definitely not things yeah I'm I'm yeah and you're right that's the feeling you you're happy when you get something done well that's happiness I think feeling that you accomplish something feeling value feeling purpose yeah totally. I think really but it can be the littlest thing yeah. I mean you know Honestly, like I clean the cat litter boxes and I feel a sense of like Yeah, you feel satisfaction. Oh, I did that. When you get something done, you're like, okay, I that's, did that. I painted yeah. the wall looks nice, I've yeah. done that, and it, the garden is okay. It can be like oh my god, I just planted tomato seeds from from scratch, that's you know, from a seed, and they're happiness. like this big now. And I'm like, that makes me happier than anything. So but if I'm happy like that, yeah. then imagine like I'm with a guy and I'm just like, oh my god i've got these tomatoes like you have this positive energy yeah. to bring yeah and then you guys are both happy together and you know yeah each other. it doesn't mean i mean obviously we all have moods like i don't know do do you have like what do you do on a down day how, a down day? how do you get yourself out of it oh um well what i do when i'm feeling down is i i try to understand that Everyone's going through things. Everyone has obstacles. I don't even like to call things problems. Obstacles. Everyone is better. has obstacles. So I can guarantee everyone inside any venue, mm -hmm. the richest man in the city right now is stressed out about something. You're just guarantee you. Whether that's losing money or keeping money. Right. So if we're all going through things, why should I get so caught up in myself that I become down and I pull other people's energy down? with me and I get so self-involved when we're all going through something so what I try to do is I remind myself that I need to blast people with good energy and value and appreciate everyone because everyone's going through something so right. why not be the joy in their life to remind them hey right. we all got obstacles someone else father just got cancer someone else just got a flat tire right. someone else's relationship is falling apart so, or someone else is having money problems. Right. So if we're all going through something, there's no need for me to get so self-involved. It's about altruism rather than ego. Right. And as you were saying when you were younger, you do feel like a lot of things are about you. And that's, that's by default. I think as a baby, we're, we're taught that way. We're asked, what do you want? What do you want to eat? Are you feeling okay? What are you doing? As you get older as a teenager, are you going to college? Are you going to school? What are you doing? And so, by the time you're 18 or 19, you feel everything is about you. Right. Because you've been constantly fed and being told, what do you want, what do you want to do? And as you get older, you start to realize, oh wow, I don't, I'm not the only one that has to pay for an apartment. Someone else has to. I'm not the only one who has bills. And then you start um, developing what I call a, um, a community mentality, rather than it being about yourself. You start to realize that every, everyone's going through something. Right. And um, preferably, you grow out of, uh, being so self-involved with yourself, I understand we all have things, so let me be kind to every person I come in contact with because you never know what someone's going through. A simple right. smile, a simple gesture can change someone's entire day, you know? Oh, that that is, you're, you're exactly right. And I find that relevant with you pulling people in here to have these conversations with you to be able to change someone's mood or day and get them to maybe even open up or express something yeah. or just give them some kind of general positive that they can apply to their life. Yeah. And um, Sometimes I think just feeling heard. Yes. Just not being invisible. Being heard. And just not be being feeling heard. invisible. Being yeah. heard and not feeling invisible is, is, is a lot. I'm blessed to meet you. And oh. You need to know every woman that I've ever dated in my life has been because of you. I'm a brunette fan. I'm crazy about brunettes. Wow. Okay. So, yes. I'm, I'm honored. You're gold, and don't ever forget that. Aww. You never know whose life you're inspiring. So just seriously own that and know that you're amazing, you're value. And I was just a kid that grew up in Virginia, and I watched you on VHS. Thank you, man. Thank you so much, Kelvin. Thank you. Wow. Thank you for doing That's this. That's amazing. Thank, Thank you. you.